a hay shed is 80 meters from the house and the wool shed is 800 meters from the house. The graph shows the time Jessica takes to jog from hay shed to, to the wool shed. So this is the hay, this is, uh, what is this? This is, this is the wool shed, which is, uh, wool shed is 800 meters. So this is your house, which is at zero. This is 80 meters, hay shed. This is your hay shed. Hay shed is 80 meters away from your house. Okay, so this is 80. Okay, so this is 80. And this is 800, which is, this is, uh, your wool shed, which is 800 meters away from the house. So let me write the coordinates. The coordinate of this point, so this is the time taken. So in other words, from this graph, I can read that for Jessica, it took four minutes to jog from the hay shed to the wool shed. Okay, so this is four comma, four comma 800. And this is, this coordinate, the coordinate of this would be uh, I'll write this is 0 comma 80 0 comma 80 so by looking at this graph this is a straight line so the equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c the m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept so c the y-intercept is where your graph cuts the y-axis so your c which is your y-intercept is 80 just by from the graph you can see the y-intercept is 80 now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to find the gradient. Gradient is rise over run. So I'm going to join these two points by dotted line. So this is your rise and this is your run. Okay. Always it's good to do the rise first. So this is rise and this is run. This is your run and this is your rise. So gradient is the ratio of rise over run M is rise over run okay so what's your rise you're rising from 80 to 800 so your rise is 720 and what's your run your run is from 0 to 4 so that is 4 which is 360 over 2 I'm halving both of them and which is 180 so the gradient is 180 so by just looking at this, I can say the equation of the graph is y is equal to 180x, 180x plus 80. Okay. So what is the gradient? Let's understand what the gradient means. Grade, this is a gradient, is rise over run. So in other words, when you look at this graph, can we say that it is taking she takes four minutes to run 720 meters okay that's the next question what is what's the speed what is jessica's speed in meters per minute so speed is meters per minute is meters per minute okay so how many meters is she running she's running 700 720 meters so this is 720 meters in how many minutes in four minutes so what is this 180 180 is 180 is nothing but meters per minute so that is 720 meters in four minutes so her your gradient is nothing but your speed which is 180 meters per minute as simple as that okay let's move on to the next question if jessica walks to the wool shed it takes two minutes longer draw the line on this same grid so let me draw the line so she's starting at the wool shed and she is now walking and it's taking two minutes longer so the point is here okay so six, it takes six minutes to reach the uh, wool shed so the line would be oops so it starts from the same point so this is this is this is jogging this is Jessica jogging this is the graph of jogging jogging Jessica 
and this is walking Jessica. If she's walking, it's taking six minutes longer. Okay, so that's the, that's the graph of walking. Okay, draw the line on the same grid that we have done. Okay, the last question is, if Jessica's father leaves the wool shed on his farm at the same time as Jessica leaves the hay shed to go for a walk, he takes one and a half minutes to reach the wool shed. Okay, so let's draw the graph. So her dad starts at the wool shed. This is where her dad is. And it's taking one and a half minutes to, so let me cancel this now. This, she, he's taking one and a half minute to reach here. So this is one and a half a minute. So the line, the graph would look like this. This is Jessica's da dad motorbiking. Okay. So this is dad or Jessica's dad. Jessica's dad on the motorbike. Okay. So this is where it inter they intersect. Okay. So let's read the question. Uh, Jessica leaves the wool shed on his motor farm bike at the same time as Jessica leaves hay shed to go for a walk. He takes one and a half minutes to reach the hay shed. At what time and what distance from the house does they meet up with Jessica? So this is where they are meeting. So it take, took about one point, less than 1.5 minutes, isn't it? So, and the distance is, so let me draw, draw a dotted line. So this is where they are meeting. So this will make a rough estimate. This is this is 1.5. So this seems to be less than 1.5. So let me talk, say this is 1.2, and this is 200. This is 250. So this seems to be uh, around 225. Okay. Or uh, this is less than 250. So I'll say this is 230. This is estimate. We need to do the maths. Okay. Let's do the maths here. So what's the equation of her dad's so what's the equation of this line so the equation of this line okay so this is let's write the equation of this line so the equation of this line is y is equal to let me cancel this the equation of this line okay let me use a blue color to write this the equation of this line is y is equal to what's the gradient here let me use a dotted line again. The gradient is the rise is the same. The rise is 720 and the run is 6. So that is 720 divided by 6x plus 180. So let me use a calculator. Where's my calculator? This is my calculator. So 720 divided by 6. It should not be difficult. That is. So 720 divided by 6 is 1, 720 divided by 6 is 120. So the equation of Jessica walking is, this is 1, not 180, this should be 80 because the y-intercept is the same. So for Jessica, I'll write j, yj is 120x plus 80, plus 80. This is for Jessica walking. Oops. Jessica walking. So this is the equation of of Jessica walking from hay shed to wool shed. What's the equation for her dad? So for dad, so let me use a red color. For dad, your your y-intercept is 800. Your y-intercept is 800, and your gradient is 720 divided by your distance. That this is your rise which is minus 720. The only difference is it's going downwards. Okay, so it will be minus 720. So let me cancel this whole thing. The gradient of her dad's would be 720 divided by 1.5. X plus 800. Plus 800. So again, let me get the calculator out. 720 minus I'll continue on this in my next video